Hello students. Today we'll talk about Americanism and American archive features. Basically these are two types, two, two steps or two topics. We'll discuss that what is Americanism. Basically Americanism is uh, a set of characteristics, feelings, emotions which show love for America and there are patriotic feelings for America and uh, archive features in American English means how has American English adopted archive or uh, old features of British English old British English features are present in American English variety so let's start as I have mentioned earlier that there were colonialism in America. The first colony was founded at Jamestown, Virginia in 1604. And here is the picture of Jamestown, Virginia. After establishing first colony, they continued their expansion because Every empire has the spirit to expand itself. So they overcome or invade other areas and made the part of their colonialism. They started, Americans started their colonialism from first colony and they reached till 13 colonies. And the representation of those 13 colonies is still present in American flag. British America refers to the British Empire's colonial territories in America from 1607 to 1783. So it started from 17th century and it continued till the end of 18th century. And America made it the market of uh, its uh, raw material. America took raw material from its colonies at the cheapest rates and uh, established industries in England and in this way America got so many benefits from its colonies and it also enjoyed political power and political supremacy all over the world. When English London Parliament imposed heavy taxes on America they started to revolt against it. So this revolt led to get rid of British colonialism. There was American Revolutionary War. The American Revolutionary War, also known as the American War of Independence, was fought primarily between the Kingdom of Great Britain and its 13 colonies in America resulting in the overthrow of British rule in the colonies and the establishment of the United States of America. It continued between April 19, 1775 to September 1783. So this eight years long war led to the establishment of a free country and its name is America. Obviously, when a civil war was fought in a country, uh, sorry, when a war was uh, fought between uh, British co colonizers and Americans, there was bloodshed. America paid heavy price for this freedom. Some uh, take it another side. Some say that there was a war between feudal lords and industrialists. Industrialists wanted to get workers in the factories, but feudal lords have occupied all slaves in their fields. And most of those feudal lords were British colonizers. 
so there was a war uh, between industrialists and colonizers and in the end they got freedom black people also got equal rights and americans paid heavy price in the form of their blood to get freedom from british colonizers except new york all colonies voted to get freedom from england on july 2nd july 1776 new york remained very loyal to england and they declared that we want to stay with england as colony while other 12 colonies uh, refused to stay under the control of england and they want to get freedom on 4th july 1776 usa got freedom from british colonizers so when they got freedom under the flag of american freedom americanism or american nationalism was promoted nationalism mean that love for your nation and your love for your nation should supersede in front of all other feelings and emotions americanism has been defined by different groups they explain it americanism is a set of the united states patriotic values patriotic values mean you will be loyal to your country aimed at creating a collective american identity and can be defined as an articulation of the nation's rightful place in the world a set of traditions a political language and a cultural style imbued with political meaning so politics and uh, political language and political meaning they are dominating in this definition and the nation's rightful place when people will talk about america they will give due rightful place to their country according to the american legion americanism is an ideology or belief in devotion loyalty or allegiance to the united states of america or to its flag traditions customs culture symbols institutions or form of government that there is an ideology ideology which supports individuals but this ideology does not permit anyone to talk against america or try to harm against uh, uh, or try to harm american interest and uh, they want to promote devotion for the country loyalty to the country this is americanism and uh, american values should be endeared and they should be propagated in the discourse in the words of theodore roosevelt americanism is a question of spirit conviction and purpose not of creed or birthplace americanism wants to promote america throughout the world through their language through their culture and through their supremacy in science and technology core values of americanism are liberty you are looking at statue of liberty at new york there is self government no other country should rule us and uh, americans will rule america equality of human beings individualism means every individual's uh, freedom choice of religion or religious practices or political uh, mindset or political association with any um, group will be supported until it does not harm american patriotic values there is diversity america is so diverse in culture in language in values in thoughts unity all those who live in america despite their cultural 
and linguistic differences they will show their complete unity and a complete love for their country this is americanism okay now americanism has been established so what is its influence on english language okay roosevelt uh, was american president he also promoted that we got rid of we got rid of colonialism we are a free country so we should have a separate language same opinion was shared by in no webster as you look at his picture no webster was also having the same idea that our american english should be different from british english if we follow their language it means we have not got term freedom uh, this phenomena is uh, international look at then england got freedom from normans normandy or france they wanted to remove french words from english language purists or always try to purify their language that foreign influences should be removed foreign vocabulary should be removed you have also read about uh, mustafa kemal when mustafa kemal defeated uh, his opponents after second world war mustafa kemal analyzed language and he wanted to simplify its script as well as its language greek words french words arabic words were removed from turkish language turkish language was purified by him the result is it got a distinct peculiar variety a peculiar shape some people call that he changed language but in reality he restored turkish language at its previous purified position now come to america america has also done the same thing america also wanted to purify its language so webster now played his most pivotal role to bring this change in fact language change is documented or presented and established in three different ways one is a dictionary should be written so it will become a canon and standard all other writers other people will follow that dictionary so webster no wrote a dictionary of american language there should be some reader reading material which shows the usage of american english so he also wrote the readers there was also use of just spelling book because he changed the spelling american spellings and uh, he wrote american spelling book too i have discussed earlier i'm just repeating here the american spelling book th this book was having different spellings different spellings than british english and its 80 million copies have been sold in 100 years in an american an american dictionary he wrote meanings of american words and he mentioned etymology of those words that these words have its uh, traditional background dissertations on the english language this is also a spelling book in which he mentioned american spelling books american spellings archive features first of all we should understand what is archive archive is a collection of historical documents or records providing information about a place institution or group of place group of people archive is basically a digital storage system uh, american archive is accessible on this uh, a link www. 
archives.gov. Uh, you are also looking a picture on the right side. Founding uh, records, you can find records, veteran records, educational records, and uh, photographs of First World War, Second World War, different documents. This is a rich and uh, quite extensive reservoir of uh, historical documents. Okay. Nowadays, trend has been shifted to digital archives. And uh, now you are sitting in your home and you can start working on it. Digital archive is also a genre of uh, research. Okay. Now our focus is archaic features in US English. Archaic means old features in US English. As I have told you earlier that Webster No brought books from Europe and he started to work on English language. He also learned 26 languages of the world to write that dictionary. He spent a long time to write it. So he tried to establish American English on the foundations of archaic features because old is gold. And uh, the same has been done in other parts of the world too. You are familiar with Scandinavian countries. Finland, Denmark, Norway, Poland, these are called Scandinavian countries. Scandinavian, in Scandinavian languages, Icelandic uh, language inflections have been preserved and they are still being used in their language. Also, Webster No also followed the same tradition. He took books from Europe and he established those spellings and he wanted to follow or adopt archaic features in English language. The language which was spoken in 17th or 18th century in England, those pronunciations or those spellings were adopted. But as I understand, he wanted to simplify language. He wanted to get rid of uh, uh, old principles, traditional principles of British English. And he wanted to establish his own principles. In, in the ninth lecture, we'll talk about the difference between British English and American English. Over there, you can easily find out those differences. In, uh, this uh, quotation is very important. English language in America can really be considered more conservative than the English of England. What does it mean? It means that American English is more loyal to British English, but Americans follow the older version of English language. For example, our sound is pronounced strongly in American English. But in British English, our sound is not pronounced in English. If after ra sound, there is some vowel sound, our sound is pronounced. If after ra sound, there is consonant sound, our sound is not for now, for example, read. After ra sound, there is e. So ra sound has been pronounced. Okay, but American English pronounces ra sound clearly and mostly. Flat a in words fast path. Okay. The Americans pronounce it like a sound, fast, path. Americans pronounce it fast, path. Okay. U.S. English has also 
took the third form of get get got gotten okay word mad is still used for angry in english language it has positive shade as well as negative shade suppose um mad after this situation this pandemic situation it means i'm um, angry for this situation or mad has also positive connotation that if you have emotional attachment with someone uh, one lover says to the other that i'm mad after you it means so much emotional attachment is over here some have also explored uh, archaic features that jeffrey chaucer he was father of american uh, sorry i'm so sorry chaucer is father of british english and his famous poem is prologue to canterbury tales in which he has uh, depicted the character sketch of uh, different ecclesiastical society figures he mentioned uh, parson father and uh, uh, some others he also mentioned female characters so some uh, linguists opine that chaucerian english has been preserved in us english features of chaucerian english are present in american english this is the meaning of preservation of archaic features in us english because chaucer belongs to uh, almost 5 uh, to 6 centuries before so these uh, features were preserved in english uh, american english like word platter it is not used in uk english but it is used in uh, usa english transplantation of language by people people transplant language as you have seen that two different types of plants are transplanted and a new variety emerges new tastes appear in the same way language transplantation or linguistic cross pollination terms are also used that in which american english has been transplanted or cross pollinated with archaic features with old features in this way american english gave the new taste new style and uh, new expressions if we uh, try to analyze educated us english it also shows archaic features here i'm not talking about their uh, oral communication i'm talking about their written academic discourse which has been mentioned in the books we find that educated us english writers they follow british archaic features so or to conclude all this discussion is there is americanism and americanism led them to introduce new language new variety but this new variety will be based on some archaic features and difference uh, in reality webster now started to create difference difference in spelling difference in pronunciation difference in the use of auxiliary verbs and uh, difference in uh, tag questions or difference in uh, sentence structure for instance uh, british english emphasizes on traditional uh, sentence structure but i have seen uh, some shorts in some short in american short stories that over there there is a one word sentences there and uh, several uh, rules of british english have been broken and uh, american english is more simplified and uh, easier to learn thank you so much if you have any question please feel free to ask and if you want to suggest anything please feel free to share your 
suggestions you are most welcome all the time you can ask your questions through zoom or you can ask uh, through whatsapp thank you